remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? One United Bank has released a limited edition Visa debit card featuring abolitionist Harriet Tubman doing the Wakanda Forever salute from the Black Panther movie. The Black-owned bank announced the card on social media, calling it a symbol of Black empowerment. We have the power to place Harriet Tubman on a global payment device in celebration of Black History Month, Terry Williams President and CEO of One United Bank said of the release. This symbol of black empowerment in 2020 will pave the way for the Harriet Tubman design on the $20 bill. Needless to say, people on social media slammed the card with criticism and jokes. Author and culture critic Frederick Joseph wrote, there aren't enough languages to say this ain't it. Another user wrote, yeah, I'm sure Harriet Tubman would love the idea of her image and legacy being used to get more people caught up in perpetual credit card debt. Rapper No Name added, Harriet Tubman is the ultimate symbol of fearless organizing and rebellion against a sadistic capitalistic enterprise, slavery. Put an Oprah on y'all visa and go. <laughs> My people pissed about this card. Uh, what do y'all think about it? I think on my end, the verdict is still out. Uh, I can see on one end what people are talking about it being used as a card to keep people in perpetual debt. But so is the cards they have in their wallets and purses right now. So in my mind, eh, it's like, even on the dollar bills, I've heard people say, well, don't put on the $20 bill. You know, we don't want to put on the currency. Like, my thing is that if we hate this money so much, why even have it in your pocket? You don't want to see black people on it. Why even use it at all? I'm just saying, if you hate money that much, you know, you shouldn't have it in your pocket no matter who's on it, right? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing something here. You know, they got all kind of symbols on these credit cards that we carry and these debit cards that we carry every day. Now, they did say that the credit card would only be issued for this year. Or so and they started started it for Black History Month, but it only be issued this year for people who wants to renew their card or get a new card. They will have the selection to get the card with Harriet on it. They don't have to. It's their choice. But what say you? Do you feel where they're coming from? Or you think people are overreacting? Moving on. In other news, many colleges and universities around the country have these designated areas while open to all are meant to provide a reprieve for students of color. To that point, in a clip that's now being shared all across the internet, a young black woman stood inside of the Multicultural Student Center and stated to everyone, if you all didn't know, this is an MSC, and frankly, there are just too many white people in here. This is a space for people of color, she continues. So just be really cognizant of the space you're taking up because it does make some of us POCs feel uncomfortable when we see so many white people in here. While she never asked anyone to leave, her choice of words drew immediate criticism from conservative circles on social media, while others actually supported her. What's your position? It's a multicultural student center designed for people of color, but it's open to everyone. And she felt like it was too many white people taking up the space. Okay. If more people of color were inside of there, then maybe there would be no space for the white people to take up. 
if there was no line, I didn't see a line of people because I'm sure they were filming it. So I'm sure if there were people waiting to get in, they couldn't get in uh, because the white people were out there. Maybe she could have interviewed a few people. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I'm, am I missing something here? Uh, I can understand where she's coming from. Uh, think, you know, okay, this is a place for people of color to feel, uh, you know, they have a place that they can come and congregate. I can see that. I can see that. But are white people coming there to spy? Or are they coming there to learn and to, to get along? You know, to like understand people of color. Are they just coming in there to spy and just take up space? You dig what I'm saying? Because it's like the young lady said, it's a huge university. There are many other places you can go. So let me put myself in their position. If I'm a student and the roles are reversed, let's say it's a predominantly black school and this is a safe space for people who are not black, right? If I'm gonna go inside of there, I'm going in there to get an understanding. I'm going in there to support the people that are in there, right? I'm not gonna be in there just doing homework or chilling. You know, I'm not gonna do that. I checked out the school's website and it said the space aims to promote inclusion and engagement for historically underrepresented students. Now the irony here is that while the young lady was writing her assessment and the use of the space, she is going to become the villain. They are going to make her life a living hell over the next several days. She may have to transfer from the school because you know how forceful they can be. This reminds me of when keeping it real goes wrong. Let us pray. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.